All right, we're now interested in discovering some nice rules about taking derivatives that don't involve taking the limit of the difference quotient. This will make taking derivatives faster for us so that we can look at some really interesting problems. And the first one that we're going to look at is the derivative of the constant function. And we're going to look at it graphically and see if we can intuitively dis discover what it is and then see if we can prove it algebraically. All right, so if we let f of x equal c be my constant function for c any real number, then what does that look like graphically? Well, depends on what my c is, but assuming that c is positive, it would be this horizontal line passing through 0, c. So y equals c is the equation of this line, which we can also write in function notation, f of x equals c. So this is an example of the constant function for this particular value of c. So if I pick this a right here and I want to know the derivative of this function at a, well that geometrically corresponds to the slope of the tangent line to this curve at a. And as you can see, the tangent line to this curve at a is in fact the line itself. And so the slope of the tangent line at a is going to be the, the same as the slope of my line at a, which is 0. And you can see that, since it's a horizontal line, that at any value of a, that's going to be the case. And so we can conclude intuitively that the derivative of the constant function, and by the way, we picked an arbitrary constant, so this is true for any real number, is 0. Now let's see if we can prove this algebraically. So let's remember our formal definition of the derivative function. So f prime of x equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. All right, that's, that's our, our formal definition of the derivative. All right, so in this case, our function is c, which means for any value of x, out comes c, which means if I plug in x plus h, out comes c. So I can rewrite this as the limit as h goes to 0, f of x plus h is c, because everything gets mapped to c, minus f of x, also c, all over h. And we see before we even take the limit that that's 0 over h, which is 0. So not only did we graphically understand the derivative of the constant function, we could show it by the formal definition. And so we can conclude that the derivative of the constant function is 0. Now, if I said f of x equals 2, what's the derivative? You would say, well, that's a constant, so that derivative is 0. If I were to say f of x equals the square root of 2, you would say, ah, the square root of 2 is also just a constant. It's also 0. What if I said find the derivative of e to the pi? Here you might pause, but remember, e is a constant, and pi is a constant, so e to the pi is a constant, and its derivative is also 0. All 